The internet over the last month has very much been alight with all sorts of people weighing in on the Johnny Depp Amber Heard case, and it's not hard to see why. This is a pair of celebrities who are literally going to war with one another for the sole reason of trying to prove the other is wrong and they are right. It's a very vicious game and their fans and supporters are very much up in arms and stating why they are right and others are wrong. And now we have another celebrity to add to this mix. We'll break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number six, David Krumholtz. And now he's reacting to negative portrayals of her amid the trial. I didn't even care anymore. At this moment, I was, so, I, he had already ripped my heart out. Krumholtz shares these messages to Insta Story, kicking things off by writing controversial opinion. He then refers to Heard as a victim of abuse by Johnny Depp. Amber Heard can count David Krumholtz as one of the famous names in her corner. The Queen's born number star, age 44, who acted alongside Heard, age 36, in the 2007 series The Playbook Club, took to his Instagram story early Thursday to express his support amid her contentious defamation trial with ex-husband Johnny Depp. Amber Heard is a victim of AB by Johnny Depp. Don't you just love his work? Isn't he handsome? Heard he's a sweetheart. Captain Jack Sparrow, wrote Krumholtz, drugs and alcohol turn men into monsters. I believe Amber Heard. Krumholtz addressed the AB allegations that both ex-spouses have lobbied at each other during the trial, which has captivated the world since it started over a month ago, and he had a very interesting response to this. Following up with, drugs and alcohol turn men into monsters, I believe Amber Heard. Bits of rage, he started to pass out a lot and fall asleep. As part of her testimony in the ongoing trial, Heard alleges Depp suffers from severe addiction issues, which Depp has denied. The characterization of my substance abuse by Ms. Heard is grossly embellished. She is not innocent, Krummeltz claimed, alleging, but she is a victim. Krummeltz slammed the Pirates of the Caribbean star for what he called his smugness in the midst of the trial and alleged that the latter lost career opportunities because he was a total mess. He ruined his public image by being a severe drug abier and drunk, he claimed. I worked with Amber Heard. She is not psychotic. She's brilliant and strong and got caught up in bolt. She made a mistake. Why is Johnny suing her? because he's not owned up to his raging addiction issues. Very interesting indeed, and he arguably shows more wisdom than others on this matter, as he's at least attempting to see both sides via the she's not innocent line he gave. Still, he is on Heard's side, while others are firmly on Johnny Depp's. Krumholtz goes on to say, while Heard may not be innocent, she is a victim, adding Johnny Depp's smugness during the trial is sickening. He finishes his thought with this, I worked with Amber Heard, she is not psychotic. She is brilliant and strong and got caught up in bull****. She made a mistake. Why is Johnny suing her? Because he has not owned up to his raging addiction issues. Johnny Depp is the one who filed this lawsuit. He wanted the public to love him again. And by the way, if you look online at the online support, it seems to be working. Number five, Chris Rock. Yep, believe it. Chris Rock took to the stage during the UK leg of his Ego Death World Tour on May 12th and reportedly discussed Depp's allegations that Heard left poop in his bed. According to British digital publisher Lad Bible, the comic told the crowd, Believe all women. Believe all women. Except Amber Heard. He then added, Apparently believing Depp's claims. What the is she on? She in his bed. She's fine, but she's not fine. Now yes, one could argue that Rock was just trying to make the crowd laugh, but he didn't seem to make any jokes about Johnny Depp. So we're going to tally him up with taking to Depp. And he was also smart enough to say, believe all women, except Amber Heard, because that has been something brought up by many who don't believe Amber Heard, stating that they don't believe the victims. Except they do. They just don't believe Amber Heard. Critics are saying any attempt to poke fun at the trial is in bad taste. The tip of my finger had been severed. Well, on one hand, I've never seen a case quite like this before. As legal expert Jesse Weber tells ET, the media attention adds a new layer to the already complex legal battle. Number four, Bill Burr. Bill Burr expressed vocal support for Johnny Depp during an episode of his Monday morning podcast. I'm too big a Johnny Depp fan to watch the trial. I love that guy and I just, I don't want to hear all these personal details in Burr said. 
From what I've seen, the guy is effing destroying. And what's great about this is if he really does expose this woman for lying, I'm wondering if all these people that, you know, just accepted her lies about him, if they're gonna apologize somehow. Burr noted that people have publicly trashed Depp and said it'd be nice if they publicly apologized and said, maybe next time we won't jump to conclusions. The trials become a bit of a circus, inspiring controversial parodies like this one from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Mr. Depp, are you finding this trial amusing? A little, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So am I. You're bad, Captain Jack. And days later, Lance Bass shares this to TikTok, lip-dubbing audio of Heard's testimony. I was just sitting there on this, on, on this carpet, looking at the dirty carpet. I was just sitting there on this, on, on this carpet, looking at the dirty carpet, wondering how I wound up on this carpet. It really does amaze me how the pendulum just does not seem to swing the other way, Burr added. All of these women's groups that when they see a woman that lies like this, which really hurts their position, because there are women out there that are in a relationship that this woman evidently lied and claimed that she was in. And for someone to go out and lie about it, it hurts the people that are actually in it. You would think they would cover this. Well, there are people covering this, but that's besides the point. But Burr is right about one thing. If Depp is proven innocent, he will be owed an apology, much to the dismay of Amber Heard. Number three, Joe Rogan. For another person who has spoken out on things in Johnny Depp's favor, you need only look at Joe Rogan. Rogan and guest Jessica Kirsten, a fellow comedian, opened an episode of the Joe Rogan Experience riffing on what we've seen so far of Johnny Depp's defamation trial against his ex-wife. From the way Rogan characterized it, he doesn't believe Heard's claims about AB at the hands of Depp or much of anything else the Aquaman actress says. I'm watching this trial and like, it's a cautionary tale, Rogan said. I'm watching this trial like it's a cautionary tale. It's a cautionary tale about believing in bullshit, like forming a narrative in your head, like we're rebels together. We're gonna, yeah. you know, it's, that's what I felt like about Anthony Bourdain and his relationship too, that crazy woman. Mm -hmm. But, it, and then you're seeing it all play out in court. Like you're seeing all the crazy come out. Beginning with a critique of their tempestuous relationship about believing in bull, forming a narrative in your head like we're crazy rebels together. That's what I felt like about Anthony Bourdain and his relationship to that crazy woman. You're seeing all the crazy come out. It's clear Rogan has been following the trial as he and Kirsten locked onto several details from the testimony so far, taking special delight in Depp's description of fecal delivery. He also made it clear that he doesn't believe Depp physically a beat heard. She said that she used this specific makeup to cover all her bruises that Johnny gave her, Rogan said, adding under his breath, which is not true. The problem, he continued, as it was a specific makeup, and the company didn't even make that makeup at the time she said she was using it. That's crazy, Kirsten replied. You know, do you know the fact, like, he, he talked about her shitting in his bed? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's so hot. It's, do you think? No. No, no, right? It's a real, real problem. <laughs> hard to forget. It's a real problem. <laughs> That's hard to forget. But she said that she used this specific makeup to cover all of her bruises that Johnny gave her, which is not true. And, specific uh, makeup. And that specific, well, the problem is it was a specific makeup. And it turns out that the company didn't even make that makeup at the time that she was claiming she was using it. Oh, wow. That's crazy, really? Yeah, but that's what happens with people like that. Yeah. People that are just completely manipulative and full of shit like mm -hmm. that. But that's what happens with people like that, Rogan continued. People that are just manipulative and full of like that. Doug Stanhope knows her. Stanhope's buddies with Johnny Depp. He wrote something like a little essay about how full of she is. He knows her well. He's like, she's out of her effing mind. Like a crazy actress. If you want more people who believe Amber Heard though, we got two more for you. Number two, Howard Stern. Yes, Howard Stern took some time on his show to talk about the trial and blast Johnny Depp. One particular thing he noted though was about Depp and how he was being a narcissist because of how public he was making it. The reason he wanted that on, he wanted it televised, because that's what narcissists do. Your Honor, the shit was the size of the dog. It's <laughs> uh, Your Honor, have you ever taken a shit as big as you are? <laughs> I don't think so. I rest my case. All I kept thinking was Lizzie, I mean, Lucy and Desi never thought of these scenarios. In the whole of the I Love Lucy show, there well, was never shit in the bed. And if you notice, he takes huge dramatic pauses. Yes. Especially when he's about to mention dog poop. Like, it's just too, too much. I don't want to even say it. Yes. 
The shock jock said on his Sirius XM radio show while discussing Depp's case against Heard. They think they can talk their way out of anything, Stern continued. I think Johnny Depp is a huge narcissist. And what I mean by that is, he figured, I'll put this on TV and because I'm so persuasive and because I'm so smart, I'm such a wonderful guy. I'll play you some clips from the Johnny Depp trial. If he isn't acting, I mean he's so overacting because he's writing his own material as he goes along, he continued. You know, I gotta tell you, he's wrong. He shouldn't be putting this on TV in any shape. First of all, his difficulty in speaking the English language is fantastic. And the accent? First of all, isn't he from like the south of the Midwest? Johnny Depp was born in Kentucky. He said of the Owensboro native, does that sound like a guy from Kentucky? If I was auditioning for Saturday Night Live, this would be my monologue this that I do for Lorne Michaels. Yes. <laughs> there was corn. Great chunks of it, Your Honor. <laughs> it smelled like death. Lifeless materials. <laughs> The lawyers must have lectured Johnny Depp on how to refer to feces because he called it dropping a grumpy. What? Number one, Ellen Barkin. Actress Ellen Barkin, who said she's known Depp since 1990, testified that she was in a relationship with Depp that became sexual for several months in 1994. Barkin testified Depp was drunk most of or a lot of the time, that she was with him, and described him as controlling and jealous. He's just a jealous man, controlling, where are you going, who are you going with? Another ex of Johnny Depp's painting a picture of a volatile partner. Actress Ellen Barkin dated Depp in the 1990s. Mr. Depp threw a wine bottle across the room, the hotel room, on one instance. Her video deposition, taped in 2019, played by Amber Heard's legal team on Thursday. He was drunk all the time, most, a lot of the time. With respect to any of that, uh, hallucinogenics, cocaine, or marijuana, did he do any of that in your presence? Yes. Uh, more than once? All the time. She described an incident at a Las Vegas hotel room when there was a fight going on between others. Mr. Depp threw a wine bottle across the room, the hotel room, in one instance in Las Vegas, while we were shooting Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Barkin recalled. It should be noted, though, that she never said he physically struck her with anything, a key thing to hear when trying to prove AB. Still, that's another person who not only believes Amber Heard, but helped testify on her behalf. And there you have it, everyone. A look at what Amber Heard's former co-star said about her, as well as what other celebrities out there have said about her or Johnny Depp. Are you surprised where some of these actors have landed in terms of their sides chosen? Whose words do you trust the most about this situation? Do you think more will pipe up as the final week of the trial happens? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.